It was supposed to be a knockout punch. When the United States cut Huawei off from advanced chips, Washington expected China's tech giant to crumble. Instead, Huawei just pulled off something experts said was years away. Not only has Huawei unveiled a 6G chip that defies expectations, but China's top chip maker, Smike, just cracked the 5 nanometer barrier, a feat that was supposed to be impossible under US sanctions. So what happened? Did Washington's blockade just accelerate China's tech self-sufficiency instead of crippling it? And if Huawei is already making 6G breakthroughs, what does this mean for the future of global connectivity? Stick around, because what's coming next will change everything. Let's be clear. 6G isn't just a step up from 5G, it's a completely different beast. We're talking about speeds over 100 times faster than 5G, near-zero latency, and AI-driven networks that can rebuild themselves in real time. Most experts believe China wouldn't even be in the race for another decade. Then, out of nowhere, Huawei stunned the industry by demonstrating a 6G prototype that supposedly outperforms anything currently on the horizon. So how did they pull this off? One word. Necessity. Sanctions forced Huawei to innovate faster than ever. Investing billions into in-house R&D, domestic semiconductor development, and new material sciences. According to China Daily, Huawei filed more 6G patents than any other company in 2023, accounting for over 20% of global 6G patents. But patents are just blueprints. What makes Huawei's 6G chip so disruptive? For years, Taiwan's TSMC and South Korea's Samsung have dominated advanced chip manufacturing. The general belief was that China couldn't produce chips smaller than 7 nanometers without access to ASML's extreme ultraviolet lithography machines. Machines the U.S. successfully blocked from being shipped to China. Yet, here we are. SMIC, Huawei's key chip supplier, just produced a functional 5 nanometer chip without EUV lithography. How? Industry insiders suggest Smike developed workarounds using deep ultraviolet lithography and advanced multi-patterning techniques, methods previously dismissed as impractical for such small transistors. Bloomberg analysts estimate Huawei and Smike invested over $30 billion in domestic semiconductor R&D to break through this technological wall. But this isn't just about chips. This is about who controls the future of global technology. For decades, Western telecom giants dictated how the world connects. But Huawei's 6G technology is shifting that balance, not just through speed, but through control. A report from CounterPoint Research states that 6G will rely on satellite-based networks, AI-driven automation, and quantum-level security, making traditional infrastructure models obsolete. Huawei has already secured over 20% of global 6G patents, the highest of any company, according to the China National Intellectual Property Administration. Experts at Strategy Analytics suggest this could allow Huawei to set global standards, forcing competitors like Nokia, Ericsson, and Qualcomm to follow its blueprint rather than the other way around. If Huawei leads in both patents and network architecture, the entire digital economy, including finance, defense, and AI, could shift toward Chinese-controlled ecosystems. The Financial Times reports that Huawei's 6G advancements could disrupt the West's current stronghold on telecommunications, artificial intelligence development, and cloud infrastructure a sector the United States dominates with Amazon Web Services, Microsoft Azure, and Google Cloud. If Huawei's 6G integration allows direct AI-to-AI -AI communication across global systems, eliminating data bottlenecks, Western firms could struggle to maintain their competitive edge. Dr. Paul Triolo, a technology analyst at Albright Stonebridge Group, warns that if Huawei succeeds in 6G deployment before the West, the implications for digital sovereignty will be massive. Meanwhile, Japan, South Korea, and the United States are rushing to counter Huawei's dominance, pouring billions into research and development. But experts say China's early lead could be difficult to reverse. 
As Huawei builds its own semiconductor supply chain, its dominance in 6G is becoming more than a technological shift. It's a geopolitical earthquake. The Wall Street Journal reports that the United States, Japan, and the European Union are already coordinating restrictions to block Huawei's 6G infrastructure from global networks. The White House has announced a $3 billion tech development fund aimed at boosting U.S. alternatives, while the European Union is considering regulations that could restrict Chinese 6G adoption across its member states. In response, China's state-backed telecom firms have secured deals in the Middle East, Africa, and parts of South America, signaling that while the West is pushing back, other nations may welcome Huawei's technology with open arms. If Washington's strategy mirrors the 5G bans imposed on Huawei in 2019, the world could be heading toward a fragmented Internet, one where Huawei powers half the globe while the West scrambles for alternatives. Huawei 6G isn't just about faster connections. It's about making AI truly autonomous. The company's internal research shows that 6G's near-zero latency will allow real-time AI data transfers, a breakthrough that could revolutionize industries like healthcare, finance, and urban infrastructure. According to a report from McKinsey & Company, smart cities powered by 6G will use continuous data streams to reduce energy consumption by up to 40% and improve emergency response times by 60%. Huawei is already running pilot projects in Shenzhen, testing AI-driven 6G applications that control traffic, optimize energy grids, and even monitor public health trends. Dr. Richard Windsor, a former technology analyst at Nomura, says, Huawei's 6G infrastructure has the potential to turn entire cities into interconnected digital organisms where everything from transportation to hospitals functions as a single AI-powered network. But with such an unprecedented level of control, some analysts fear the implications for privacy, security, and global dependence on Chinese infrastructure. Huawei's ability to mass-produce its 6G chips depends on overcoming two major obstacles, fabrication scale and supply chain resilience. According to the South China Morning Post, SMIC, Huawei's key chip supplier has doubled its capital expenditure in 2024, investing $7.5 billion into advanced chip manufacturing. Despite U.S. sanctions blocking access to cutting-edge EUV lithography machines, SMIC has developed advanced multi-patterning techniques, allowing it to produce 5-nanometer class chips without ASML technology. Analysts at Bernstein Research estimate that if Huawei and SMIC can successfully scale this process, China's domestic semiconductor industry could reduce its reliance on foreign chips by 75% within the next five years. However, skeptics argue that scaling chip production from prototypes to mass market supply is an entirely different challenge, one that will test China's ability to compete against TSMC and Samsung at a global level. Huawei's 6G chip create a more connected world or a global monopoly. Huawei frames 6G as the key to a seamlessly connected world, but critics warn it could also create an unprecedented digital monopoly. The New York Times reports that as Huawei expands its influence in Asia, Africa, and Latin America, its 6G ecosystem could lock developing nations into long-term dependencies, where software, hardware, and cloud services all operate under Chinese control. If Huawei's 6G chipsets become the industry standard, Western telecom firms might struggle to compete, leading to a fragmented internet where China controls the infrastructure in half the world. Former U.S. cybersecurity official John Costello warns that if Huawei dominates 6G networks, data sovereignty will no longer be in the hands of nations. It will be dictated by the technology provider. While Huawei insists its 6G rollout prioritizes global cooperation, the debate over who controls the next generation of connectivity is far from settled. The U.S. isn't waiting for Huawei's 6G to hit the market. It's already planning to block it. 
A Reuters investigation reveals that the Biden administration urged allies in NATO, Japan, and Australia to preemptively exclude Huawei from their national telecom networks. Meanwhile, U.S. companies like Qualcomm and Intel are racing to develop 6G alternatives, backed by a $1.5 billion R&D initiative under the CHIPS Act. However, some European nations remain divided. While Germany and the UK are phasing out Huawei's 5G equipment, France and Spain are reportedly considering deals with Huawei for early 6G trials. If Western efforts to block Huawei fail, experts predict the global telecom market could split into two parallel systems. One dominated by the US and its allies, the other led by China. Huawei's first commercial 6G trials are expected to begin in 2026, with full-scale deployment projected for 2028 to 2030, according to Huawei's internal roadmap. China has already allocated over $40 billion in state-backed funding to accelerate 6G deployment, ensuring that Chinese cities and industries will be the first to adopt the technology. Meanwhile, Russia, the UAE, and parts of Southeast Asia are reportedly exploring early adoption of Huawei's 6G infrastructure, a move that could shift the global telecom landscape before the U.S. even launches its first commercial 6G networks. This isn't just about a faster internet or better AI-powered cities. This is a power struggle for the future of global technology. If Huawei's 6G becomes the dominant standard, China could hold the keys to the world's digital infrastructure, rewriting the rules of commerce, security, and national sovereignty. Western nations are scrambling to keep up, but the clock is ticking. The real question is, will this be the moment when the world's tech leadership changes forever? Is 6G a breakthrough for global innovation, or a geopolitical power move? Let us know what you think in the comments. We're glad you're enjoying this video. Please like and subscribe. Check out another video that is now on your screen.